Hey what's up people, I'm Sid and today I'm going to be teaching you how to make a visitor counter by IP address and cookies. This tutorial is specially requested by Bennings. So now, let's get into the video. And the things that we're going to be doing in the videos are as follows. In step 1, we'll be writing query for our MySQL table. Second, we're going to write PHP that will make a counter. Third, we're going to be testing our counter. And finally, we're going to be giving you some tips on it. So, stay tuned till the end of the video. Now, let's go! Step 1. Creating MySQL table. Here, we'll be explaining you the structure and we'll be writing the query. And we're naming table as unique underscore visitors. A table will have three columns, number one, date, set to date data type, unique, primary key, and not null. Second column is IP, set to text data type, which will be storing IPs. And finally, third column, views, set to INT data type, and default value is one. This is a table structure. Now let's convert it into the query for execution. That's it. This is a query. Now execute it to make table. And make sure you have created a table before moving ahead to the next step. If you don't, things won't work properly. Moving ahead to the next step, we will be writing PHP. And at first we'll connect to MySQL and we'll store connection in con variable. Next we'll get current date using php state function in full y, mm and dd format and we'll store date in date variable. Moving ahead we'll get IP address of the user and we'll save it in user IP variable. After that we'll write SQL query to fetch a card from the database table of current date and then we'll place this query inside my SQL query function which will execute it and will return result object which we'll store in result variable, just like this. And now it's the time to add our first if block, which will execute when cookie is not set and will set the cookie. Condition is pretty simple. Cookie super global with visitor S key inside is set function coupled with not operator. In this if block, we'll get timestamp of next day at 12 a.m. and we'll store this timestamp under time variable. After that, it's time to set our cookie using set cookie function. We are naming a cookie as visitors, the same name as of the key of the cookie variable that we entered in the is set function. And we'll put this inside the first parameter of set cookie wave function. Next, we have to give cookie a value. And here we're giving it a random string. You can even try generating IDs. And finally, we'll be giving time variable as expiring date of the cookie. As we are calculating visitors on daily basis, that's why we have used next day. Now it's time for another if block which will execute when no record for current date exists. But this time it will be coupled with an else block. Condition for this if block is pretty simple. When numrose variable of result object is equal to zero. Just like this. In this if block we'll write a query for inserting date and user IP into the database table. And then We'll execute it by placing it inside my SQL query function, just like this. And we are done. Now moving to else block, and first thing we'll be doing is to fetch result array out of the result object using fetch a sock function. And we'll put that in the row variable. After this, we'll need to add another F block. This block will execute when cookie does not exist, just like our first if block. And condition is same. 
Cookie Super Global with Visitor S key inside is set function coupled with another operator. That's a condition. Now let's move inside this if block. And here we'll create a new variable named new IP, which will be equal to row array with IP as key. Then we'll add another if block to check whether print user IP address exists in database table or not. And if it end condition is simple. We'll search for the user IP address inside new IP variable using pragmatch function coupled with not a pager. And an if block will concatenate new IP with user IP with a space between them. We're using space between new IP and user IP because it will act like a separator and will separate multiple IP address from one another. Now moving out of our little f block, we'll write a query for updating record, which will set IP column equal to new IP variable, views column to view plus one, and with a where clause in which date equals to dollar date. That's a date variable. Then we'll place this query inside MySQL query function for execution, and that's it. We are done. We'll close both of the if and else blocks that we have already opened, and we are done. We've completed it. Now moving ahead, we will be testing our counter. And as you can see right here, it's a PHP management page, and it's clear because I played almost everything from cookies to the all database record that was created while testing it. Now let's move to the page and we'll reload it. And then we'll move back to PHP My Admin and we will reload it too. As you can see right here, we've gotten one record. But now what will happen if we go and reload our page again? Nothing will happen. Views will not increase. But if we go back to our page and delete this cookie, things will be a little more different. As you can see right here, we've got one increase in the view. Yes, as multiple computers can have same IP address, but giving cookie to each of them defines that all of them are unique. But it still has one limitation that cookies won't last too long. So no counter is 100% accurate, but it's good to have one. Now finally it's time for some tips for you. And number one, you can use str post or str post function at the place of pragmatch to make your script faster. Number two, it's not important, but if PHP's internal time zone does not match us with yours, you can try changing it. Number three, make sure you properly clone values and add backticks around column names in SQL query. Hey guys, don't forget to subscribe for more as I do make new videos every week. And also give this video a big thumbs up and a share. You can try watching our other videos which are on the screen right now and don't forget to follow us on all social medias. Links in the description below.